Okay, I'm going to show you how to set up the CH yoke and pedal. CH pedals. It's the USB style. This yoke has the three controls built into the top of it. The throttle, mixture, and uh, propeller, crop control. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go, as soon as you open up the flight sim here, we're going to go to options. And we're going to go over here to control. And you'll see over here, there's no picture of the CH pedals. It is recognized, but there's no pre-mapping to it or anything like that. So you're just going to have to do that yourself. And you're just going to have to make uh, make your own profile here for, for the, the yoke itself and for the pedals. So what we'll do is here, go over here to all. And uh, we want to, what we're dealing with right now is the flight controls, the, the up, down, left, right axis controls, the linear controls, not the instant controls like, uh, you know, uh, the buttons that make an instant uh, move or whatever. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the primary control surfaces. And that would be the axis, ailerons axis, right here. And I've already got this programmed. So, right here, you can see these moving. Right here, see that? Right here. I've already got it programmed. So what you'll do is, you'll click on aileron. And then over here, you click on this. Now, move the controls that you want to co correspond with the aileron movement. In this case, it's the left. See that? As soon as I turn the controls to the left, it recognized it, and it put that right in there. And so what you'll do then is validate it. And get into the habit of apply and save everything. So there's, right there, you've got your uh, aileron axis for, see that? See this move? That lets you know that that has been programmed. And then what we'll do is we'll go for the elevator axis and do the same thing. We'll go over here, click on this area, click on that, and then pull back on the elevator control, and it recognizes that. So you want to validate it, and then again hit apply and save. So there you go. So now with your CH control yoke, you can go left, right with the other arms, or up and down. And it's going to be basically the same thing for all the other controls. But what you got to do though is you got to not, don't forget we're talking about the yoke here, yoke controls. Don't get them mixed up with what your CH pedals are going to be programmed for. We're just working on the, the yoke right now. And this filter right here, essentials, that actually means the flight sim, this is what the flight sim thinks you need as an essential. You know, you got to have to be able to fly. And assigned, this is pre-assigned you can't change this that's why you have to set up a profile and what you're gonna do is just copy it you're gonna copy what this is built in same thing is gonna be over here what you'll do is it'll ask you to uh, name it and I just named mine Frank 1 profile and then Frank 2 for this uh, CH Pro pedals profile so again We'll just go over here to all. Um, okay, so we've got the ailerons. We got the elevator. And uh, so let's go with uh, um, flaps. So what we'll do here. Yes. Yes. And there you go. Flaps. Now I've got the flaps control on the CH uh, yoke here. So to decrease flaps, we'll click on here. 
We'll go up here. Now decrease, lift up on the flat button. Bam. See that? It recognized that. What you want to do is validate it. Apply and save. Same thing with uh, bringing the flaps down. Click on that. Click on that. And then uh, increase flaps. Push down on the flap button. Bam. See? Recognized it right there. You want to validate it and apply and save. And the trick here is, is just stick with all and then whatever it is you want to map, <clears throat> do a search. And once you're done with the flaps like I am, hit X. Now it's set up for another um, search that you want to do, like landing gear. Let's do that. Landing gear. There, toggle landing gear. See that? I just did a search. It's all. All we'll do is we'll go here. And we'll click on here. And then the landing gear toggle on the yoke itself. We'll just uh, click it down. See that? It recognized it. You want to validate it and apply it. Same thing with uh, up. Click there. Click up on the uh, the yoke here. The actual button you want to program that to. You'll validate it. Apply and save. And that's all you do. You just keep doing that on and on and on. I mean, and it'll say, like I said, the profile. It'll save that, and that'll always be there. Now, if you want to program the pedals up, you get over here. Now, everything here has to do with the pedals. And again, like I said, I made a profile up. It's going to ask you, when you first do this and, and do a save, it's going to ask you to name the profile. Now, like I said, I just named it Frank 2, and that'll always be there. So here we go. Um, so we'll click here because we don't want to deal with landing gear anymore. Now we'll go with the uh, rudder. There we go. See, now the rudder axis comes up. Now see, I've already done this. I've already, I've already programmed this up. This will not be showing. It'll be a blank screen like here. But I'm just going through the motions here and just copying over what I've already got in here. But you'll see here, watch see here, I'm, I'm working the rudder pedals left, right, left, right, left, right. So that's, that's the axis. So we'll do is click on that. Click on that. And then just hit the rud, rudder pedal, the left one or the right one. Validate it. Apply and save. And there you go. It's programmed. You're all set. Now, um, same thing with uh, the brakes. We'll click out of here. Brakes. That's. And there you go. Toggle parking brake, and there's the brakes. You can click on that. Hit the tow brake, and it will recognize it. So now, um, initially, these are going to be very sensitive. So your mo, you know, your your yoke is going to be, you know, any kind of movement you make, the plane's really going to be fast at moving, and you want to slow that down a little bit. So what you want to do, you're still here. Pro pedals USB. What you want to do is go over here, sensitivity. Now, these are what you've got programmed. See that? I'm moving my rudder pedals right now. I'm moving my rudder pedal. Now, what I want to do is I want to bring that sensitivity down so that it's not instantaneous when you hit the rudder pedals. It slows them down a little bit. The dead zone, I bring that to about 11%. Uh, there's the brakes, or the right brake. There's the left brake. I left them pretty much uh, default. So that's how you decrease the sensitivity. And the same idea here on the CH Flight Sim yoke. 
it's this profile comes up my Frank Betts profile right here see so now everything I've got programmed I'll go back over here click on sensitivity and here we go there's my ailerons see I'm moving my ailerons and there's the down elevator up elevator down that's it and then so what you do is you can adjust the sensitivity I've adjusted it pretty low so that your controls are not like immediate you get that nice little slow sensation so you're not over correcting and when you get those you just try them out when you get those the way you want them just hit that and again don't forget to hit apply and save now a quick way to try these out and I should have mentioned this in the beginning is set you should have set yourself up for a flight where you're sitting on the runway and that's the beauty of this because then you can go back and you can click on the flight you can be on the runway you can check out what adjustments you just made you know trial and error if everything works out then great if it doesn't then you can immediately go right back to controls and that flight will be on pause so you can make your little changes and when you like what you got apply and save and then you can go back and like I said, if I had a flight set up, it would go back, resume the flight, and then you can immediately check out what you've done, you know, what you've set up and everything. So you can go back and forth, back and forth, set everything up just the way you want it, get back in your flight, go do your flying, and you're good to go. So I don't know. This is the way I learned it. Sorry if I'm just a bunch of mismatch, but this is the way I figured it out. So I guess that's it. Thanks for checking this out.